It's things like a transformer. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Peckham and today I'm gonna to show you the mobile gimbal that I opted for as promised from my last video. So here I've got the Osmo Mobile 3. So check this guy out right there. So not only is the Osmo Mobile 3 amazing, but I have some modular parts here that I'm gonna show you to set it up so really you can get the best, most cinematic version of whatever video you're trying to capture. Now I've got a link, I'll leave a link down in the description for all these different parts. You can click on them and pick them up from Amazon. They're relatively cheap. You can get the whole setup for around $160 and then obviously your phone on top of that. The first thing you're gonna need is this little clamp thing right here. See this thing? Okay, you have to get this one. You have to get this specific one. It's made for the Osmo Mobile 3. Don't get any other one. This one is ovaled, which is meant to fit the contour of this handle. So if you don't get the one down on the link, at least you should search for the Osmo Mobile 3 clamp and don't get any other ones. This clamp right here, I don't know, let's see, probably see it from the overhead a little better. This clamp right here has a cold shoe mount and then also a mount where you can put a light or other attachment on the other side. So I found the best way to attach this right here is I like to have this, uh, clamp part on the back right there okay i'm gonna unscrew it and we're gonna put this right underneath all the controls now you can have uh, the cold shoe mount on the right or on the left it doesn't matter but i personally liked having the uh, cold shoe mount here on the right side because that's where I'm going to put my microphone and the auxiliary or just your audio output is going to be on the right side of the phone as well. The camera is here on my left, your right, but the output for your audio, the input for your audio, I should say, is going to be on this side of your phone. So I like to have the mic on the same side. So all you're going to do is put this on and tighten it up. You don't want to get it too tight but just enough so it's snug and it's not going anywhere. Okay, there we go. Step number one, complete. The next thing you're gonna to need to pick up is this external microphone. So this is a uh, Rode mini microphone and it's mounted on this shock mount so you can see it wiggles pretty good. And it's attached to a cold shoe mount right there. So that means that we can slide this cold shoe mount into this clamp that we just attached to the Osmo Mobile 3. It comes in two parts, right there. So you can attach this and then this just slides on to the shock absorbing mount just like that. To install this, you can have it uh, facing out or facing towards you. It really depends on what kind of filming you're doing. So if you're filming a lot of stuff that is uh, picking up the audio from out in the distance, you're gonna wanna face this mic with the longer end facing out. It is directional. But if you are doing a lot of vlogging and you're filming yourself, you're gonna to wanna to turn this around. Either way works, you just wanna turn it whichever way you're filming. So I am typically not vlogging a lot, so I'm going to turn it to the outside of the Mobile 3. So you'll just slide it in, twist this tight, and boom, there you go. You have an external microphone attached. Now, something I'll hurry and point out right here is this is actually the Mobile 3 right here. See, this is a stand, so just a little tripod stand. And this is really the profile. So it's really, it's quite small. It's quite small. But I like having this on all the time. I like having this stand on all the time for two different reasons. So the very first reason is it gives me a longer handle. So I've got something that I can reach out with and you know, you can get real good selfies with this, you can vlog with this, or you can take just better overall video by having a little more of an extension on the bottom. And I like that, I'm a fan. So I have this stand on all the time. The other thing is I don't particularly like to lay this down, especially when the mic's on. And so this gives me a place that I can always just sit it down when I'm done and uh, it doesn't have to be laid on its, on its side like that, banging up my microphone, so. It's nice to have this on all the time, but your personal preference. 
focus on my face. There we go. All right, when you get the mic mounted, you're gonna notice that it came with a TRS to TRS cable. It's going to look like this, but it's gonna have two black ends, okay? You don't need that. <clears throat> you need to order a TRS to TRRS cable. The way you'll know that it's right is one end is black, the other end is gray, okay? The difference is, is that a TRS cable has two audios right here, so it does surround. This is what's typically used just for cameras. Um, this, however, is how phones are set up, is a TRRS cable. The TRRS cable has three rings on it, okay? So you need this cable, again, links down below if you, if you wanna pick one up, but you need to have this. This end, the TRS side, will plug directly into the microphone, and this will plug directly into the either auxiliary port on your phone or on the dongle on your phone. Uh, but you cannot use the other cable, it will not work. You have to have this cable. The first thing you do is we're gonna plug the TRS side of the cable into the back of the microphone, and then we're going to plug the TRRS side into our phone. Now you can kind of see why I wanted to have the microphone mounted on the right side, your left, uh, because of this, this mounting here. That way, when I'm, when I'm going and I'm filming, this, this cable isn't wrapped around the other side and getting entangled. Now that we've almost got this completely set up, the last thing you're gonna to wanna to consider putting on is your dead cat. So for those of you that don't know, this is a dead cat. That is actually what they're called. It is a windbreaker so that you don't get that wind ruffled noise when you're filming. So I like to have this on all the time because most of the filming I do is outside when there's wind. But I will say, if you're doing most of your filming inside or you're vlogging inside, this will muffle your sound a little bit. Uh, again, I like to have it on all the time, but if you're doing it inside, you, you probably don't need this. I should also mention that it's not terribly easy to put on and take off a whole bunch of times. Um, I wish they would make a better design for it because it's kind of a pain to put on. But once it's on, it's on, it's not going anywhere. You just don't wanna have to do this a lot, so. And like I said, it's not easy to get on. Come on. There we go. Boom. Got it. Okay. So yeah, you can tell once it's seated, it, it has that rubber almost gasket that, that seats into this. And that's on there now. This is not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And voila. You've got a very professional setup. A very professional setup on a very limited budget, you guys. Look at this thing. Doesn't that, just, doesn't that just look good and professional and clean? And if you want to vlog, you want to change uh, the orientation that you're, you're filming in, you just flip that mic around. It takes a solid five seconds. And there you go. You're, you're vlogging. See that? Got that mic facing me. It looks really nice. Okay, couple of uh, fine print things that I, I need to mention for you guys. Uh, first and foremost, you, you need to plug this uh, TRRS cable into the phone after you've got it powered up. So let me show you, let's, let's uh, show you what this does. So when, th when this is off, that's, that's how the gimbal sits, okay? And then it just flops like that, okay? So if I plug this in beforehand, you can't plug it in on this side when it's just sitting there like that because you've got the cable on the wrong side. So it, it, it gets wrapped up in itself and it gets stuck. Okay, so that doesn't work. You also can't wrap this all the way around the front of your gimbal and plug it in. Okay, that doesn't work either. So I'd recommend before you get going, you just power it on. Double tap it to turn it sideways and plug it in. Easy as that. The other thing is if you put this in standby mode or you turn this off, you need to unplug this audio first. This is what standby mode looks like. We're gonna triple tap the power button here. And it goes like that. Okay, see that? And it sits really nice and it's really convenient if you don't have the mic on, but 
Let's show you guys what it looks like if you try and do that with the mic plugged in. So, mic's in, standby mode, and boom, it, it jams the motor, so it doesn't work. These are, these are small things to note. Uh, I think it's a very small price to pay in order to have very good audio. Your videos come out sounding so much better, uh, so much more professional uh, for using a phone even. It sounds really, really good, but you need to remember that you can't plug this in before and you have to unplug it before you turn it on. Okay, that's, that's important. Now, if you have a newer phone and you do not have an auxiliary jack, which most of the new phones do not, you are just going to need to pick up a dongle. So you're likely going to need either a lightning to TRRS dongle or a USB-C to TRRS dongle. And it's going to look something like this. See that? Simply take this, plug the TRRS side in, then plug it into your phone. Boom, you're all set. The Osmo Mobile 3 is a good option because they got rid of having this back end, which is what most of the gimbals have. See, this one just has two mounting points on the top and the bottom for your phone, where typically gimbals have something that blocks this back end, has a backing right here. The Osmo Mobile 3 got rid of that. So you can plug something directly into whatever charging port you have. Pretty neat. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope this video helped you out. If you know of any other parts that could make this setup even better, leave them down in the comments and we'll see you next week. Man, I can't, I cannot stop doing this. This is, it's just so much fun to do.